One time when I was in high school in Maryland, I had to wear my gym clothes all day because I forgot the combination to my locker after second period phys ed. Okay, I have to admit, I do have great legs, but nevertheless, I was a skosh embarrassed. My point is, that situation is all about to change because I almost never forget my fingers. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Losing the keys or forgetting the combination to a padlock is frustrating. There are keyless locks using Bluetooth technology, but if the Bluetooth doesn't connect, it won't open, forcing you to use, well, other methods to unlock it. You'd think by now some rocket scientist would have figured out how to make two disparate locking systems work together. But the person who finally cracked it isn't a scientist or engineer, he's a rocker. And instead of Bluetooth, his keyless lock uses your fingerprints. I went to Pasadena, California to meet Roberto Cabral, a very busy father of three, and the man behind the high and low tech Benji lock. So who is Robbie? Who are you? Well, Robbie is uh, uh, an entrepreneur. I was actually uh, born and raised in the uh, Dominican Republic and actually came here with a music dream. I used to be in a band back home, but you face the reality that it's you and 50,000 bands doing the same thing. After Robbie's band broke up, he struggled to find a job that matched his skills. In the month of December of 2014, I got laid off. And the same day I got laid off, my little daughter was born at midnight. What? Sometimes I think things have to happen for a reason. I won't lie to you, I got depressed, uh, extremely overweight, probably like 40 something pounds overweight. It was only when Robbie hit the gym to lose the weight that he found the direction he needed. Going to the gym on a daily basis, I noticed an issue like this. Someone actually left their keys inside the locker. They actually have to bolt cut it. Other people were using like Bluetooth technology, but if the technology failed, then they kind of have to, you know, deal with it. You see, you went from seeing that as a problem right there to then creating these buddies. Yep, yep. How did you bridge that to this? I actually just wanted to go buy one, just to use it for myself. And since I noticed that there was nothing like this on the market, that's where I kind of took uh, the initiative of, of doing a patent search. And when nothing came up, then I just pursue it. With no technical background, Robbie needed help to realize his vision. But many product engineers thought his idea wouldn't work. That is, until he met Henning Zeiger. So Henning, what was the most challenging part of creating the Benji Lock? Oh, the most challenging part was being able to have a key to turn the lock as well as allowing some electronic component to turn the lock or to unlock the lock. So allowing the key to do it or the motor to do it, but not having each one of them interfere with the other, that has been the big challenge. They all have to play together. That's right. Henning designed and 3D printed mechanical parts before casting the first metal prototype which Roberto let me try. Turn it on, there you go. Now put your finger, push it in hard. There you go. Oh. Two, three. There you go, now oh, it's okay. recorded. Now, now it's you recorded. can close it. So now I'm pretending I'm at the gym, putting it on the locker. There you go. I'm working out, I'm working out. I'm back, whoa, I'm so sweaty. Time to get my gym clothes out. So I'm gonna press this once. That's yellow right now. It's reading, it knows it's me. Incredible. Kaboom. Wow. Simple. That's it. Roberto's breakthrough design was granted a patent in only a year, and it's already won a number of design awards. The next step is to get Benji Lock into mass production. Wow, so we will soon be seeing Benji Locks all over the place, right? With God's faith. Yes, yeah. God's faith.